Hey what's up guys, so we're going to be getting back to some dueling and Con King returns as my opponent and I'm playing some War Gods or Bajin so they play, I, d um, I don't know really how they play, I think I play them pretty standard but um, I never really seen them being used before except for this one time and so I just built them how I felt and Yamato can um, add any from my deck to the hand and then send one to the graveyard of the war gods so I send the tortoise guy who can negate effects which target him which is very nice so mind control won't work and then I have triple maxi in this deck which again in this duel comes in very handy as he's using a very synchro spam deck um, it's all about the synchro tuning wear and I gave him kind of the base of the deck but he's made a few alterations I think maybe so he synchros up a bunch of times and I get to draw a whole bunch of cards and right now he has Junk Warrior uh, which is going to be one of the main key cards he has but with the war gods they have their own sort of honest which only works for that damage calculation when you use it and that card will double the attack of your monster when it battles a monster so it's pretty good and that's the one right there and he accidentally skipped his battle phase so we're gonna do it this way so he takes the risk attacking with Gaia but um, using the bird I, I can't really remember what the names except for Yamato but yeah the bird manages to get him and then I already have another Yamato in my hand so that's good since um, Yamato is the key kind of monster in this deck I find Tanky very useful for adding those Yamatos in the first place and then so we can run the bear and there's also a card called Vivid, Vivid Knight which can also protect it, you might be able to see it in the deck there. It doesn't actually make an appearance in any of these doors. I have two quick doors for you here. And so I have to set everything because my hand was so big, where then he ends up having a heavy storm of course. So I get to chain two of them at least. And things start to look a bit bad but we still have a lot of cards in hand. And Firefist Bear is there to get the tanky so we can get the Yamato quicker and I play triple tanky and the good thing about this deck what I like so far is it has a lot of battle phase shenanigans what it can pull off we have a uh, triple horn of the phantom beast uh, tanky I guess which gives you the extra hundred for your beast warriors um, you got the bird which can act as a second third and fourth honest as well as the actual honest so yeah that's it's pretty nice. Um, I haven't actually edited this deck since I've made it and I built it yesterday and this was earlier today when I was using it. Um, so I'm gonna set some stuff and that tortoise guy can protect only... no that tortoise guy can protect any of them but most of them only work with beast warriors which is Yamoto and the XZ's monster and I don't really use the XZ's monster much in the first game but you know, we'll see how it goes so unfortunately during the first time we draw with all the maxi we don't draw into another even though I play three of them so you know, what can you do? so I'm going to use that trap card which I forget its name but it lets you either send a banished one back to the graveyard because the sword face and the tortoise banish themselves so you can reuse their effects and you can also add stuff back from the graveyard which is useful because your motto is very key in this deck so you can add it back from your graveyard to your hand and here I add another Yamato because it, I didn't think it was going to survive this turn since I had to put it in defense position though, oh well, what can you do? so I put another sword face in the graveyard so that will let me destroy his junk gardener next turn dualities for three cards which special summon and he ends up taking the monster reborn which I guess is uh, probably the best option so I, I decide to 
uh, destroy his gardener before I change to attack position so I can attack. Uh, here he just admits defeat. He had a level E asset, um, but I don't know why he admitted there. Or he would have just got tanky and added something. A vivid knight probably. But oh well, he admitted defeat there. What can you do? So here we go into game 2. And with tuning he mills Dandelion, which is very lucky. Here he um, just goes straight for Formula Synchron, which um, I wasn't too sure about. As um, you know, you want to save that for when you want to do some good stuff. So duel it here. Um, I have the turtle which I can just search out anyway. With Yamato later, bottomless, which you know, don't really care about because I already have one. And I think the other one was a guard I already had. No, wait, the other one was what I added, so yeah. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with having all those four honests in this deck. It's pretty good. So here, things get a bit funny. Because he plays one for one, goes ahead and summons Tuning Wear in attack position. Summons Junk Synchron, but then decides not to. So, you know, whatever. So here he plays the Machine Duplication, which is kind of one of the key cards which helps speed up the deck a lot. And there he uses mind control thinking I would negate it. But he has no tuners, so I figured you can have that for a turn, I don't mind. He attacks for 300 damage and then has to give it back, which is pretty funny. So he clogged up his field, and you know, it's pretty funny. And here I go for the XD's monster for the first time. And it can attack multiple times, which is pretty nice. And I have double of that bird, so I can finish him off really nice and quick. Um, I had a third game with him and um, similar kind of stuff happened really. I can't really remember what happened. But yeah, that was the game. Didn't even get to use Honest once, but who cares. Uh, War Gods so far, I quite like them. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's the game. Thanks for watching and see you next time.